Demonstrators have gathered at a prominent New Plymouth landmark, Mongaroa or Blagden Hill, to protest its sale by telecommunications company Chorus. Protesters say the ancient pa site was forcibly acquired from its Māori owner in the 1930s and this afternoon demanded that it be returned to their descendants. Our Taranaki Whanganui reporter Robin Martin has more. Not your land, give it back. The New Plymouth Council bought Mongaroa using the Public Works Act in 1935 from the Kaho Heramaya for a water reserve that was never built. It was subsequently used for telecommunications and Chorus took over ownership of half the hill when Telecom split in 2011. Chorus has had the 1.8 hectare site on the market since 2011 after deeming it surplus to requirements. And earlier this week the company announced it had an unconditional buyer. A descendant of Te Kaho, Te Hikura Hohaia, says the land would not have been sold willingly. Certainly the narrative that, that we know um, is that our people were holding on to land as best they could despite the myriad of local bylaws that were created to pry land away from us. And the Public Works Act was a blunt tool used indiscriminately against our people. Mr Hohaia says he wants to see public access to the land, but fears the worst. So I'm assuming a wealthy landowner who can build a, a flash house for themselves up there, or perhaps more. Uh, so, you know, the, unju the injustice is glaring. Um, and I'm just glad that we've got some support, some solidarity from Pākehā. Another descendant, Pikikora Moore, also took comfort from the Pākehā support for their kaupapa. My hope is that it's the continued awakening of um, people who sit silent and they must get this little twinge of, gee, that's, that's not right, what's going on? And, you know, we've, we've just had... We're starting to have national celebrations about our history, well, versions of it. Um, this is part of that history. Nothing's changed. Sue Comrie, who put out the call for a protest, describes Mongaroa as Chorus's ihumato moment. This land has been taken scurrilously in my opinion and um, under stealth. It was a reservoir supposed to be putting up, uh, it's not there. 80 years later there's no rent paid, there's no apology, there's no land restored to the family. Well why not? Why haven't we got systems in place to address these old mistakes that we've made in the past? Half of Mongaroa is reserve land owned by the New Plymouth District Council. The Mayor, Neil Holdham, says it asked Chorus to gift its land to the community. Chorus flat out refused um, to, to consider donating it to the community. Um, they asked if MPDC would, would purchase the land. Um, it doesn't fit with our sort of strategic objectives. And so it is, doesn't surprise us that they've, they've taken this approach. And I suppose that just reflects um, you know, in, investments in the communities that, that, um, that they trade in isn't a big priority for them. But Tehi Kura Hohaa says the council can still play a part in putting things right. The other option is that the council buy it back. Um, they've got the money. The council were the ones that took the land. Um, from my perspective, the ball lies in the council's court. In a statement, Cora says it will be using funds from the sale of Mongaroa to invest in rural broadband upgrades. The company wouldn't say who had bought the hill or for how much. I Namutu Motihotaka Oti Akihahi Nei, called Robin Martinaho.